Hi YouTube, it's me Trudy. I'm just coming in to check in to do my four week update. Um, as of last week, last Monday, I was at 38 pounds and I was in the middle of a stall and uh, I actually came in and updated on Thursday as well because I was still stalled. Um, now it's four days later and uh, instead of down 38 pounds, I'm now down 45.4 pounds. So my stall has broken. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with, I went and bought some protein powder because I know I wasn't getting enough protein in. So I went and I bought some protein powder and it seems like the day after I started that the stall broke. I don't know if that's related or if the stall would have broken on its own. Who knows. That and coupled with, I have strep throat right now, I've had it for the last few days and I haven't been able to swallow anything other than liquid for the last few days. Um, so I haven't been getting much food in at all. Today was the, actually the first time I ate breakfast um, in the last few days. So I'm on antibiotics. Um, I asked the doctor for liquid antibiotics and he sort of looked at me like I was being a big baby. And then I explained to him that I had the gastric bypass a few weeks ago and I didn't think I could swallow the pills. And uh, he told me that he had had a lap band uh, five months ago. So we chit-chatted about that, but anyway, so I thought that was kind of interesting. So he prescribed me, um, it's basically the baby um, amoxicillin, tastes like banana, but I have to take triple of what a child would take. Um, so that's fine, I'm getting that down and uh, start, I'm, you know, feeling better every day, but uh, God, Friday was rough when it hit. I haven't had strep throat since I was a teenager, but it hit me big time. So now I'm in the minced food stage, so I can have... Um, a whole lot more. A whole lot more. I'm so excited. I'm going to go to the grocery store today and uh, pick up some things. Some uh, cottage cheese and, oh God, shrimp and all kinds of fun things that I can eat this week. Um, I'm looking forward to eating sort of, uh, not normal. I know it won't be normal, but uh, at least it won't be pureed. I'll have to do some chewing. So... But, uh, I'm looking very looking forward to that. So um, that's I don't really have much more to tell you. I'm down. Oh, I'm down. Um, what is it? 16, 16 or 17 inches overall. I did my measurements yesterday. I should have written it down so I had it here, but I don't. But yeah, it's something like 17 inches, 16 or 17 inches overall. And I am finding a whole world of new clothes in my closet. Just clothes that I haven't worn in, geez, four or five years. I'm down to the weight I was before I had my first son. Um, so I'm, I'm so happy with that. I'm almost in the twos again. And uh, I wish I could celebrate that with a bottle of wine or something. My question to you guys, to post-ops, if there's any post-ops out there, how long was it until you started drinking caffeine coffee again? I'm dying for a coffee, but the decaf stuff is disgusting. So I'm just curious, how long was it after surgery that you started drinking coffee again, and what do you put in it? I usually have cream and sugar in mine. I guess I could start trying milk and sweetener. Um, so yeah, that's my question, because I really want, I just, I want a cup of coffee. I want a good cup of coffee. Um, and I would be happy. And uh, I wanted to have and honey. That was another thing. Does anybody eat honey? Is that too much sugar? I've been wanting some honey tea to help soothe my throat, but then I was afraid to use the honey, not really knowing if that was too much sugar or if that's considered a natural sugar. So if anybody knows the answers to these questions, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for me. So I'm going to, both my kids are home sick. We're all sick. Thankfully, they don't have what I have, but um, they're still not feeling well. So, um, yeah, so I will, uh, I will let you go, and I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye.